How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of the F1 2020 My Team Crew Mode where we're bringing Brabham back to the very top of Formula 1. In the last episode we had a wet, dry uh, Zandvoort Grand Prix which didn't go our way. My frustration with the tyres really got to me because it just didn't make any sense to me. Um, I'm filming this before I've actually released that video so please let me know in the comments down below what you think of that as well. Uh, we've got the Russian Grand Prix coming up this weekend. Who do you think is going to win the race? My bet is either a Mercedes or a Mercedes. Um, they've always been fast around the Russian Grand Prix circuit, so I can't really see anything happening other than that. But let me know your opinions in the comments below. And let's get into the Spanish Grand Prix this time around. Still second best car on the grid at the moment, just behind Mercedes. So hopefully we can have a better run here than we did at Zandvoort. Our pace was actually pretty good in the wet in Zandvoort, but our setup suited it too. So hopefully we can have a good one. It's a track I really, really enjoy, uh, Spain. You've got that long right-hander in turn three and a few really tricky corners, and that final sector you have to be so precise. So I'm really looking forward to it. Let's get into the episode. Into qualifying now, and this is our second run in Q1, and I felt very comfortable, stuck a setup on, and in practice we were pretty pretty quick actually we were top five pretty consistently top 10 so hopefully we can have a good one today rounding out this lap managed to get a good run in the first run p12 after the first one but managed to try and gain a bit of time made some mistakes through that middle sector as you can see as we skip here just kind of cut a little bit you can get away with that in qualifying and in the races a little bit so you're going to use what you can get and the drs actually failed heading over the line in q1 and we're P9, so we got through Georgian P6, very good result there. And I felt like hopefully we didn't have that issue leading through into Q2, but luckily the DRS, we were able to get it fixed by the team. And again, into our second run now, DRS fully enabled, three tenths up this part of the lap, heading through this quick left-hander and tricky right, kind of off balance with the car. I managed to keep it tight and I gained a little bit of time mid-corner there and then through the, this right-hander, a lot of the time I was carrying too much speed. I wasn't slowing it down enough, and then that pushed me wide, and I actually lost time. I was half a second up at that point, and then I lost time, about two-tenths coming out from, out of that chicane through the final corner. But P3, P2 for Georgia, we're right there, three hundredths between us both, and then coming through this next section onto Q3, final run, Q3 about to finish, purple first sector, three-tenths up on my best time, and my first run, I made a massive mistake through the final sector, a huge, like, it was awful. So this lap is going to be well over a second faster, but through this section here, I was really pleased. Purple first sector got a little bit wide there, lost a little bit of time down the straight, but it's not the end of the world. Breaking into this tight hairpin, second gear, pulled third really early, and I, again, lost a bit of time there, got too eager on the throttle, didn't wait for the rotation, and lost time, and then tight through this right hand, and make sure you get a good exit, and then trying not to carry too much speed just again too wide now i don't want to be all the way across i want to be to the right hand side and this this that, that's exactly the moment where i made the mistake i had a big bit of oversteer 1.3 quicker than my best time and it is p5 for the spanish grand prix and george with a very decent result as well in p6 we're right there with him and that's exactly what i want out of the difficulty so p5 for us p6 for george ready for the Spanish Grand Prix. The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day he took his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one at this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found, including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Hamilton, Mr. Monaco and Russell, Leclerc, Perez, Stroll and Lando Norris. 
Ricardo, Ocon, Alexander Albon, and Gasly, Fiat, King, Kevin Magnussen, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Schumacher, Grosjean, De Vries, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. So there we have it, qualifying over and done with P5 for us and P6 for George. Good team result, I have to say. Um, I'm pleased that we're very close together because that shows that I've kind of got the difficulty right. I was a bit slow to begin with. I bumped up the difficulty a little bit because I thought Spain was a good one, but it's not. So I had to put it back down. So that's all right. Um, we're neck and neck with George, which is exactly where I wanted to be. I'm slightly quicker. He was slightly quicker in the last one, so... It is what it is. So hopefully we well, can have a good one. Um, okay, so heading into the strategy, looks like I've had to play around with it. Looks like a very clear two stop. Um, I tried to get away with the one stop, but I don't think it's going to be possible today. And I can't seem to go into the soft tire at the end and make the middle stint longer. So it is what it is. Uh, we'll go with that and hopefully everyone else around us does exactly the same. So let's get into the race. Ready for the start. We've got George just behind us. Hamilton right in front and sides. We're right in the mix here. Verstappen was on pole, interestingly enough that they had enough pace. Good getaway. Sainz has got a mega run off the line there. Try and stall. Had to back out of that, but... Ooh, safety car. Up in there. Is that Hamilton? New strategy. That one, medium hard. Yeah, let's send that. Get off these soft tires and go long. By the time the safety car comes back out. Although I'd like to think they'd probably do the same, really. Um, must have been Hamilton that got spun around because George. We've got Verstappen right behind. George is a little bit further back. Verstappen and Leclerc, and then. I'm going to gamble on it. Come in the pits. Can't imagine the safety car is going to be out for too much longer. See, one of the Renaults has done exactly the same as me. So it'll be interesting to see how we get on now because I'm going to stick with this, try and pick our way through, um, put the mediums on and see how we go. Rich mix and overtake. He's probably doing the same. That's the first one. Bit of understeer there. That's alright. Oh, and then a bit of oversteer. We will go past Schumacher. Pull up to the back of him here. <clears throat> no one's pitted, so I'd like to think there's others on the soft to be coming in very shortly. Another good move on Groge on there. Lift a little bit. Send it up on up the inside of Giovinazzi. There's another one. Now set our sights on Jordan King, who's up ahead. There's another one. Yeah, you can see all those guys now into the pits. And that has put us what must be in the net lead of this race. And I don't know, I've only got to stop one more time.
go mediums rather than hards, what the original plan was after we changed, so we're going to go a bit longer on these, but it means that we're going to have good pace at the end as well, rather than going onto that hard tyre. When I'm not having to go particularly like too long on it, I don't need to really use it. Yellow flag for something, one of the racing points has dropped out. Giovinazzi, bit of oversteer. I need to try and get a good run. Not the best run, I'll be honest. But maybe we can make a little. Nah, I'm not confident. Just wasn't close enough. It's hard to overtake round here. Yeah, move done. Carried really good speed through the, that first right hander there. Don't have DRS, but I managed to block him off enough, and now we can. We're, we're, we're in net lead of this race. 13 seconds to George. I felt like it was important to use the safety car to our advantage, try and do something a bit different rather than sit in dirty air, because this track is impossible to overtake on. So I thought I'd have to try something different. Bottas doing 118s, second quicker than I am at the moment. Not sure what tyres they went onto, to be fair, so at the moment we're doing okay. At this point in the race, I'm just trying to conserve a bit, of, a bit of all the really, just the tyres, to be honest. Um, just get into a good rhythm, try and find some nice pace. I'm gapping the guys behind nicely. Ricardo's a little bit quicker than I am at the moment, but I'm okay with that. See how the rest of this race plays out, really. So we head towards the pit stop window. Ricardo is going to have to go on to the hard tyre because he hasn't run softs yet. And Jeff reckons he's got one more stop to make. So that puts us in a good position. Hopefully, we'll have more pace on our soft tyre, our medium, sorry. So Ricardo's in the pits now. Hopefully, he'll get held up by some people as well. Purple final sector, that's great work. And now we're in the lead of this. Yeah, he has put the hards on, and he's got a bit of traffic to contend with as well. Seven seconds behind us. He's only just gone past. Sainz has gone past. Leclerc will go past. And Danny Rick is the next one. He's also going to go past us. Russell is just ahead. We've got Stroll and Perez. That's the gaps now. Got to go rich mix. And really push to try and catch these. And this fresh set of tyres for a couple of laps. If I can get away with it. Perez has jumped in the pits, as has Leclerc, and Leclerc's on a hard tyre, which tells me that he's gonna, all the others even, are gonna have to do exactly the same. Purple sector one, love to see that. Without DRS as well, making use of these fresh mediums. Good move there. Managed to sneak up the inside, and he came in the pits anyway. Fast slap of the race. Ricardo's six seconds ahead, and he's on the hard, so he's going to the end. Drop it back down to standard mix on the engine. 
Really, the Bottas is going to come past me and he'll clear off. And I'm not going to fight it too hard, to be honest, because he's like a second faster than I am on the same tyre, so... Which, the Mercedes is that, that much quicker, to be fair. But, the real question is, do I pit again? Does it say where we're going to come out? We'll come out in 10th. And I'm not sure that's a good idea. Pit window's opened. Pitting soon, sorry. I think it's two laps time. Let's see where I come out. I don't know how much time I need. Tenth. I want to guarantee this position. Because I'm not going to catch Ricardo now. And I'm certainly not going to catch Bottas after he comes past. Pass now. Pit window's open. Where am I going? I'm still going to come out in 10th. I'm going to let him go because he's just got. He's a second faster than I am. A lap, so there's no point in me trying to fight it. Might as well just consolidate this this P3. Try and stick with him, maybe. But you can see he's just driving away from me at the minute. Bottas is within three tenths. Oh, he's maybe, yeah, he's within half a second, a second of Ricardo. What is that? Eight tenths. Bottas should be within DRS range of Danny Rick now, which. And I, I reckon he's going to be right there at the end of this race, if not earlier. Heading on to the final lap after this after this one that we're on now. It's four tenths away. Oh, see how close he is. You probably can't see it because of my camera. Where the camera position is of me. But he's, yeah, very, very close. Coming on to the final lap now. Bottas is within... Th Bottas has got past Danny Rick now on the final lap of the race. So he should keep that position, really. End up winning this race. It's the first time in a while we've seen the safety car, and I think in one of my previous videos, not that long ago, I was saying it's a shame the safety car doesn't come out as often as it does in real life. But fortunately for us, it came out today, and I think it's put us in a good position. We were we were right there at the start of the race, but I think it's allowed us to consolidate this position here. You know, we've got such a big gap to Hamilton, 12 seconds. And I was, I've been able to save the engine. Great points for the championship. It's not a track where we were necessarily going to win at anyway. Um, the AI, AI are pretty strong here. And, and George, we were right with George and Quali. So it's just a shame. I think he and Verstappen and Hamilton and those guys all got caught out by that safety car. It didn't come in early enough. And I kind of had to do an extra full pit stop at racing speed rather than at safety car speeds like I did. But... Bottas, fastest lap of the race, 17-0, super quick. And then round the last corner here, flat out, right-hander. And we will finish the race, P3 in the Spanish Grand Prix. Great result. Super happy with that. Super happy with that one. P3, another podium to add to our list of podiums there. And driver of the day, Nicholas Latifi, did a great job. I think he was top six, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm not too sure, but yeah, great result for us. P3 is... Is really, really strong. There we have it on the podium. Bottas wins the race on the final lap of the race as well. He made that move on Danny Rick. Must have been into turn one. And Ricardo for his first podium for McLaren, I believe, in his new team. Will he be able to achieve that uh, next season when he moves over there? We'll have to wait and see. Him and Lando Norris will be a great partnership uh, together and a funny partnership at that as well. And then we finished third in this race. So there we have it. End of the race, Bottas winning with fastest lap. Ricardo from P11 finishes second on that one stop. And the one stop worked. If you could start the race on the mediums, probably we're gonna do really well. So we finished P3 with our two stop. Hamilton in fourth, Latifi 22nd to fifth, an amazing result for him. And Kvyat similarly 15th to sixth. And then Leclerc, Sainz, Verstappen and Russell rounding out the top 10 and still getting a championship point. And for the standings, we are still third, we're still Bottas would have gained a fair bit on us today, but we've made a gap to Carlos Sainz 
of uh, 15. So we're doing pretty well. And then Hamilton would have lost out today in comparison to Bottas, particularly for the championship fight. And Bottas, of course, defending his title this season. And then in the constructors, we're still second. We gained on Ferrari um, potentially a little bit. Um, but it must, must have toed and froze slightly. I think Sainz and Leclerc finished ahead of uh, George. There we go. George running, rounding out the top 10. And let's have a look at these highlights. I got a pretty good run off the line here. I managed to get ahead of Lewis Hamilton just about, but I kind of had to try and sneak my way up the middle, but I couldn't go anywhere. I kind of got boxed out as Bottas has come round there and, or you can see Hamilton actually spun. He actually spun and caused a massive pile up at the back. And that's why there was such a big gap. I didn't quite realize what had happened there. And I assumed it was Hamilton. And then this is us in, in the queue. Pitting on lap one, I think was a good choice. The others were, probably faster than us really on pace so i think pitting boxing for those mediums was a good result and then this is jordan king coming back past us i didn't realize drs was going to be enabled so quickly there and he had to have drs heading into turn one but we managed to hold it around the outside and then this is coming up against his teammate nicholas latifi who had a great result in this race and i managed to carry really good speed through this right hander and then sneak up the inside into the chicane. You can cut a little bit of that, but sometimes it kind of understeers you wide, but through the flat out right hander and we had good pace. At this point of the race, I was in a great rhythm. Um, just building the gap to the guys behind me, pushing and pushing. And then Danny Rick ended up going a lot further ahead than expected. I, I thought I'd be able to catch him, but he, McLaren had good pace around this circuit. And we were just picking people off here and there after the pit through the pit stops and managed to get a great run there. Um, managed to cut up the inside and push there. And then this is after Bottas got past. And let's be honest, the Mercedes is way too fast for us. He gapped us by about eight seconds, nine seconds by the end of the race, which was nearly a se over a second a lap, I think. And then coming across the line, P3 in the Spanish Grand Prix. I'm also going to do this rear wing downforce change. And it will put us, once the other ones come in, right there with above... Mercedes and Red Bull in the aero department. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to rush it as well, see if we can get it in as soon as possible. And it leaves us not with many resource points, but hopefully they both come through and they may well come through for this race. Okay, so the rear wing hasn't come through. The front wing, however, did come through this time. So we have got even closer to the others here. Um, so Mercedes still ahead in the performance race, but we are second. We've got some upgrades and once this one comes through, that's going to give us a big step towards them as well. And there we have it, the end of the Spanish Grand Prix and a good result in the end, I think. It was a surprise that the safety car came out so early, but we managed to capitalize on that. I think that allowed us to get the podium. I'm not sure we would have had the pace otherwise, to be honest with you. Monaco next. Obviously, we will be running a special Monaco livery based off of the car that my granddad won the Monaco Grand Prix in in 1959. So hopefully we can have a good one. Last time out, we had a great result in Monaco. So hopefully we can get do the same and maybe even maybe get a win as well. As always, thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Please subscribe for more F1 racing and just general racing game content. Um, hopefully I'll be able to bring you some different stuff in the next months as well, which would be pretty cool. So. Please subscribe for more and uh, leave a like, comment, and let me know what you think of the series. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.